right, so in this video, I am going to attempt to create the hanger jaw. So this one, I'm not gonna lie, this one is a little bit, it's a little bit challenging, but we're gonna get it, we're gonna get it. So I'm gonna go up to new, I'm gonna use the uh, English standard template. Now this one wants us to figure out what the volume is of this hanger jaw. So I hope I don't forget that part at the end. I'm going to start my 2D sketch on, let's do this XY plane. I'm gonna create kind of like the, the side of that um, hanger jaw. So uh, where can I start? Let me, hmm, let me start this I'm just gonna start it. I'm gonna start a line at the kind of like near the towards the top. So um, I usually like to start on the on the origin, but this one is kind of I'm not really sure how to start on the origin. So we're just gonna sketch this randomly in space. I'm gonna start just here. I'm gonna move over to the right. Um, that's 0.25, and then I'm gonna go down. That is three inches. And then to the right, we're gonna go over to the right two inches. And then down 0 0.5, 0 0.5. And then I'm gonna go over um, they tell me what that is, uh, I'm looking. I don't see it. So we're just going to kind of just randomly just draw it over to the right and then straight down. That's 0 0.5. 0 0.5. I'm going to kind of just randomly just make an angle back to the left here. Uh, I'm just going to finish this shape. So this goes up or over to the left. It goes up. It's going to Come straight up a little bit. And then it's gonna, where am I at? There, there, there. So then I'm gonna stop over here where I, under, underneath where I started from, which is gonna be, oh, actually it's gonna be underneath where this, this line is here. So right about there. That looks really weird. That is not what I wanted, but I can fix that. So I'm gonna right click, I'm gonna hit okay. So this should be horizontal. I goofed up, so I'm gonna click on my horizontal constraint. Click this line. It did not work out the way I had planned. Actually, let me undo this. Let me just erase this. When all else fails, just delete it. Let's draw this line again. Line it up underneath there. Click it. Um, okay, so that didn't really line up where I wanted it to. Not a biggie. All right, so let me see where can I start dimensioning here. So I'm going to dimension from here. It tells me from here to here is 1.25. And then from here to here is 1.75. And then this line here is 2.75, 2.75. I'm gonna line these up. So from this edge to this edge, that's zero. Just I'm just gonna make sure that those line up with each other. Come on now, hit the check. Yeah, so that it's right underneath it because I misclicked and gooped that part up. Um, oh, and then from here, from this edge to here is 0.75. So that fixes our angle and all that good stuff, takes care of that for us. All right, so we got that part. And then I need to dimension from this line to this front 
edge here. That is four. Or actually, that's not four. That's 4.5. I'm sorry. 4.5. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. So this, this is a radius of pi. So then what I need to do is I need to figure out where the center of this arc is. So I'm going to draw a line. I'm going to draw a line from the end of this line straight down by 0.5. And then this is where I'm going to, I'm going to draw a circle. The center point is down here where I ended this line. And then the radius is going to be, I'm just going to click this corner here. Uh, and now what I need to do is I'm going to draw a line that's tangent to both of these kind of circles or curves. So I'm going to draw a line just kind of randomly on this circle here from here to let's say here I don't want to snap anywhere uh, just make sure it's on that circle somewhere and then what I want to do is I can use my tangent constraint here so I'm gonna click the circle first and then the line and then click the circle or the arc there and then the line so now it it locks our tangents in there. So now I can just go in and trim out um, the pieces I don't need. So I don't need this or that. I don't need this piece or this piece of the arc here. So that comes straight out, kind of curves around, goes straight, smacks into the this arc, and that arc joins our of the sketch we got going on. So yeah, that's a little bit, that's a little bit tricky. And then I'm just gonna delete this line that I created up here. Don't need that. Um, I believe that's it. So I'm gonna finish this sketch. I'm going to extrude this. I'm gonna go back the other way. So flip it. That has a depth of three or distance of three. So now I just need to kind of create this um, half circle here. So I'm going to start a 2D sketch on this kind of this bottom face here, or this lower face. I'm going to use the, let's see if I can do this. I'm gonna use the arc center point. So the center point is gonna be the middle of this line where you see that green dot pop in. And then I'm gonna click one of the the ends of this line here and then it's going to end over to this side here get that green dot I hope oh, I think I got that and then I'm going to finish my sketch I'm going to extrude I probably need to draw that line let me let me go back to my sketch here I'm going to edit sketch I probably needed to draw this line from this corner to here. Um, I think I got it. Let me extrude this. There we go. Okay, so I'm gonna extrude this to this top step here and then hit okay. And then what I need to do is I'm going to start a sketch on this tongue looking thing, the top of this tongue. It's like, ooh. Um, I'm going to let me project geometry. So I'm going to project this arc, and that gives me my center point here. So I'm going to draw a circle from that center point uh, that has a diameter of 1.5. 1 1.5. 1 I'm going to finish my sketch, and I'm going to extrude, cut that all the way through. And then click OK. So our our hole went all the way through. Um, so that is our hanger jaw. I don't know. That looks nothing like a hanger or a jaw. It looks like a porta potty, but hey, I don't judge. So I'm going to 
Oh, we need to figure out what the volume is. I almost forgot that. So first, let me name this. Let me say file save. I'm going to call this inventor hanger jaw. And then to find the volume, so you go up to this top item in the uh, in the browser list here. I'm going to right click. I'm going to go down to I properties. And then over in the physical tab. So right now it says we don't know what the volume is, but we have to click the update um, button here. And then we know that it tells us now that our volume of this particular part is 28.578 cubic inches. So that's what our volume is. Um, and I'm going to close it. And then I'm going to get all fancy. I'm going to go to view, shaded with edges, um, shadows, lighting, photo booth. Again, you can change this to whatever you want to do. It's just your choice um, for the color. I'm going to go down to my usual smooth ivory. And I'm going to, again, save. Stop my wheel. My mouse is being goofy. I'm going to save this again. I found that even though you save your, um, your view settings, for some reason, when I open it back up again, the view setting, I don't know, they, they don't lock it in. I don't know. It's kind of weird, but uh, it's just, that's what it is, what it is. All right, so that's the hanger jaw. The transfer fork, that one's a little bit even more, more challenging, but we'll do that one next lesson. All right, so yeah, peace out, everybody. Be safe.